Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, November 30th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And if you want to, the full access to our uh, full technical analysis for the commodities market, where we make an analysis of all 13 uh, commodities on eToro, you're welcome to head over to our Patreon channel where you also get access to our live trading and our signal service. So the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, the last two and a half weeks, we have been depreciating in the US dollar index. This has had a major effect on commodities. For example, oil has been rallying in this period. We have seen uh, uh, we have seen uh, uh, indices and stocks also go up significantly, but especially commodities like copper and and uh, and oil have rallied significantly, even in a period where they probably shouldn't because the world economy is not doing as well. So what is also interesting now is that the gold has absolutely collapsed. And usually um, gold, um, usually that happens when the US dollar, for example, appreciates. So just keep that in mind. If the US dollar starts to appreciate now, watch out for gold because that is going to go absolutely bananas. So at the moment, we are testing or have basically broken through these previous lows. We have actually broken through the previous lows that were back in the beginning of September. And that may indicate that we will go significantly lower. I have been expecting a pullback towards the 50 moving average, something similar to this. But because we ended the trading day on Friday below the, the very lows of in September, this could indicate that we are going to go significantly lower. So if you look way back, we have to find other resistant area here. For example, this bottom here, which will act as a as, as support, that is at 90.81. And look, and the uh, US dollar could actually go that far. It could actually go all the way down to these very lows. And that is at 87.83. So that will have an enormous effect on, on, on commodities and also on, on the stock market and so on. So watch out for, for the US dollar. What usually happens here uh, is if it falls, then it has a positive effect on the other things. So there, there's a negative correlation between between US dollar and commodities and indices and so on. So we'll start by looking at oil. So as you can see, we have been rallying all the way back in the beginning of November and to to last week. So there was this was Wednesday last week where we hit the highest here of 60 uh, 46.19. Then we pulled back, then we rallied again on Friday. And at this point, I am thinking that this market is going to go lower. Um, there just isn't the demand out there. I know that that it looks like um, this market is getting pushed to 47 and a half or even to 50. And 50, I think we are going to see. But, but these indicators should be a warning for, for this market. For example, the CCI is flat at this point. The stochastic has broken the signal line. And the MACD is not as bullish as it was. It is still bullish. And we are getting really close to being overbought on the daily chart. And that is a warning sign because this shouldn't be overbought. This is not a market that should be overbought at this point. We should be at around 50, 55 in the, in the, in the RSI, but we're not there. We are, we are basically pressuring this market way over what it's supposed to be but take it or leave it so if we fall we'll find major uh, support here at four at 43.75 that was the previous highs back in in august and if that breaks then we have this another top here just underneath that will be a support and then we'll have all the way down here to the 50 minute average at 40. So it may well be that we will be trading in between these two, uh, this range. For example, all the way to 50 to 40. It's a $10, uh, roughly a $10 range. And that would make uh, a lot of sense that we'll be trading within this area here. So the new highs of 50 
and the lows of 40. So within this range. So at the moment, we are basically in the mid range, if that is what is going to occur. Um, I am definitely not a buyer at this point. I do expect that we are going to test these previous highs first if we are going to go higher. So I think that we are going to see a pullback towards uh, 43. And then if we rally from there, then it's possible that we'll go to 47.5 uh, and then to 50. If we break this area here, we're going much lower towards 50. And that is going to be a massive support. You can just see this entire area that we have to get through. So at this point, I'm definitely a seller, but this can rally to the upside. That is possible. So natural gas. We can see that we rallied last week all the way up to the 50 moving average. This looked really promising until we head into Thursday and uh, until Friday, and then the market collapsed again. This is not a very good sign because this could be an indication that we are making lower lows. So for example, this is a low, this is a low, and then we could be heading down towards 2,500, which be another one. And we would not stop until we hit the 200 moving average. And that is at 2.2. And um, this has all to do with demand, whether or not it's a, a cold weather, uh, then this market will basically go up. If it is a, it's fairly warm weather, then this market will go down. So uh, weather conditions are everything uh, depending on, on demand in this market. But at this point, this is not encouraging. This is a warning sign that we are probably going to 2.5. And if that breaks, we are going all the way down to the 200 moving average at 2.2 before we turn around in this market. Technical indicators are looking uh, worse. They are all bearish at this point. The stochastic is crossing the signal line. The CCI is turning around. The RSI is turning around. And also the MACD is underneath the signal line. Has not crossed and was rejected here. And that means that we are most likely going to go lower. So look out for this. I'll probably make a, a selling position in this market due to this um, candlestick here because this just looks like we are going higher. Uh, we're just making lower lows. And that is a sign that we are going to go to 2.5 in the near future. So let's go and look at gold. So gold had a horrible week last week. So we broke down on Monday significantly again on Tuesday. And then we on Wednesday and on Thursday tried to rally, did not manage. On Friday, we tried to rally a little bit again and then bang, all the way down to 1774. And at this point, it is probably just a matter of time before the US dollar appreciates. And then we are looking at 70. 1700 and uh, that would coincide with these previous highs here that should be uh, support and uh, depending on how much the US dollar uh, appreciates it can drag this market significantly lower the next target is here at uh, uh, around seven no sorry next target is here so that is around 1600 and then we could go all the way down to to 1500 that is also possible. Um, gold has been bearish for a long time. You just have to look at this. We have been trend. We have been trending downwards, and the only thing I think can can um, help this market at this point is around stimulus. Uh, so we haven't had stimulus uh, packages for a very long time, both in Europe and the United States, um, that we saw back in April and, and May and so on. So that was that that led to this massive move here. But now we're back on the way down. There are going to be stimulus packages, but as I said, I don't think they are going to um we're not going to see any of them until we have the new president in 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 uh, in next year in in January. So in the beginning of February probably, probably end of February next year, there will be some stimulus and this market will be much lower um, by that time. So if you look at technical indicators for gold, they are all very, very bearish at this point. 
we may see a little bit of rally up towards the 200 moving average. If that, if we get rejected there, then that means we're going to 7050, then to 1700 afterwards after that. So we are a little bit overstretched to the downside because of this massive move here. So we're at 30. We're only we we are fairly oversold at this point. So we could rally a little bit, but I expect us to be get rejected by that 200 moving average. So so hope you find the video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Patreon while you get access to an uh, old. Uh, a technical analysis for the commodities market. Good luck and thank you very much.